it's not every day that we get the opportunity to sample a manufacturer's entire lineup at the same time. And although a track day sure is fun, a day in the dirt is what really gets the blood pumping. When the kind folks at Yamaha reached out and said they would be bringing the company's full line of XTR vehicles to Gunsett Academy in the desert of northern Arizona, we quickly accepted the invitation and loaded up our gear. Gunsett Academy is located on thousands of acres of amazing Arizona desert, and graciously opened a large swath of their property for Yamaha to create a test course that featured a bit of everything, including steep, loose hill climbs, tight forest trails, wide open sand washes, fast two-track trails and wide gravel roads. Yamaha's XDR lineup for 2022, and now 2023, includes the Grizzly ATV along with the Wolverine, Max 1000, and YXZ side-by-sides. Adding to the fun, Yamaha brought out the two- and four-seat versions of the Wolverine and Max 1000. All of the Yamaha XDR models come with a worn winch installed from the factory along with unique paint, graphics, and wheel and tire packages. The Wolverine X2 XDR starts at just $16,499, and the Wolverine Max 4 1000 XDR tops out at $29,199. Yamaha's entry-level recreational side-by-side -side is the Wolverine X2 850. The Wolverine X2 is powered by an 847cc parallel twin engine, which is paired with an Ultramatic CVT transmission. Anything but basic, this UTV also features locking differentials and kyb piggyback shocks. Front wheel travel checks in at 8.7 inches, and the rear features 9.3 inches. Opting for the XTR package adds 27-inch GBC Dirt Command radial tires a heavy-duty worn VRX45 recovery winch, a rear-view mirror, and stylish paint and graphics package. Jumping behind the wheel of the Wolverine X2 brought back some serious Rhino vibes. Compared to the high-tech, high-power, extra-large side-by-sides offered today, the diminutive stature and relative simplicity of the Wolverine X2 made it an absolute joy to drive. Sure. It's not keen on jumping large tabletops or blasting through deep whoops, but when dropped onto the trails that most Americans have access to, the Wolverine holds its own. Tightwood's maneuverability was fabulous and loose hill climbs were dispatched with ease. All told, the Wolverine X2 was simply pure joy. We found ourselves laughing the whole time and ended with an enormous grin. In an interesting twist. There are very few differences between the Yamaha Wolverine X2 and X4A models. Aside from an extra pair of seats where the tilting utility bed used to reside, and the tiny doors used to access them, they are the same vehicle. The Wolverine X4 produced the same giggles as the X2, but we did notice a slight degradation in handling due to the added mass of the rear seats and larger roll cage structure. Ultimately, the two vehicles are so similar that the buying decision between the X2 and X4 rests on which is needed more two extra seats or a tilting bed. We've done a fair bit of riding with the new R Yamaha Max 1000A lineup since its introduction for the 2021 model year. We've blasted around a sand hollow, traversed the legendary Rubicon Trail, ventured high into the mountains of Colorado and ridden the back way up to the Crown King Mine in Arizona, and every time we come away with just as big of a smile on our face. We've sampled the Aspec, Sport, and Limited Edition models, and now finish out the lineup by getting behind the wheel of the Yamaha Max 1000 XTR. Setting the XTR apart from the rest of the lineup is the addition of a factory-installed worn VRX45 winch, 14-inch aluminium beadlock wheels, 30-inch Maxxis carnivore tires, a multi-piece front bumper, and a unique paint and graphics package. Motivated by a powerful 999cc parallel twin engine and equipped with Yamaha's impressive D-Mode Drive Mode selector, the Max 1000 is a blast to drive. The vehicle accelerates quickly and, depending on the D-Mode selected, 
provides precise throttle control for every situation. Paired with Fox QS3 dampers and impressive wheel travel numbers of 14.2 inches in front and 16.9 inches in the rear, the Max 1000 can handle just about any terrain type with relative comfort and ease. This side-by-side -side is just as much fun navigating tight and twisty forest trails as it is crawling over rocks or blasting through the desert. Having logged the most miles, collectively, in the Max 2 1000, we can confidently say that for most people, this is the Yamaha UTV to own. Similar to the Wolverine X4, not much changes when you jump to the Max 4 1000. The four-seat Max is fitted with the same driver train, same XDR package content, and same Fox QS3 dampers. What does change is the wheelbase, which is stretched modestly from 86.7 inches to 90.2 inches. Wheel travel also decreases significantly in the rear from 16.9 inches to 13.3. The biggest changes we noticed because of this were more of a propensity for bottoming out the suspension in the rear when driven hard, and only the slightest decrease in maneuverability when it comes to tight, full lock turning. Aside from those small quibbles, we do thoroughly enjoy the Yamaha Max 4 1000, just as much as its smaller counterpart. Which to choose really comes down to whether there's a need for two or four seat belts. We'd be lying if we didn't say that the vehicle we were most looking forward to driving was the pure sport Yamaha YXZ1000R.A introduced for the 2016 model year. The Yamaha YXZ is still the only side-by-side -side to come equipped with a manual transmission and standard pedal-activated clutch. For 2017, Yamaha added the Sport Shift system with paddle shifters, making it the first UTV with such a feature. The Yamaha YXZ is powered by a naturally aspirated 998cc inline three-cylinder engine and comes fitted with Fox 2.5-inch Podium RC2 dampers. Wheel travel checks in at a modest 16.2 inches in the front with 17.0 inches in the rear. Tires on the XTR model are a staggered 29-inch Maxxis Carnage setup, with 9-inch wide fronts and 11-inch wide rears. Also included with the XTR package are 14-inch aluminium beadlock wheels with color-matched locking rings, a worn VRX 45-inch, high-quality painted bodywork, contrast stitching on the seats, a center-mounted rear-view mirror, and auxiliary lighting. Sliding into the cockpit, we were greeted by the low and sporty seating position of the YXZ unique to the XTR lineup. While a full manual transmission is still offered in the YXZ, the XTR model comes only with Yamaha's Sport Shift 5-speed sequential gearbox, which is operated by a pair of steering wheel mounted paddles. From the moment we clicked the machine into first gear and ripped off down the trail, our heart rate spiked. The YXZ 1000 r is pure enjoyment. The vehicle's suspension soaked up the biggest bumps our test course had to offer while upshifting at 10,000 rpm really got the blood pumping. We jumped the YXZ down ledges, ripped through sand washes, and quickly mastered the art of sliding this impressive machine through long, sweeping turns. Unlike the Wolverine and Max. The YXZ wasn't super happy navigating tight turns in the trees, thanks to its wider suspension, and loose hill climbs were less graceful, thanks to putting more power to the ground all around. However, the Yamaha YXZ1000 or XTR was the most fun to drive, and that's really saying something. It's no real secret that we spend the bulk of our off-road adventuring with a steering wheel in our hands and pedals under our feet. That said, we're adventurous folks and love anything that's adrenaline-inducing. So, when the opportunity came up to hop on the massive Grizzly APS XTR ATV, of course we said yes. The Grizzly APS XTR is a truly massive ATV, with a wet curb weight of more than 780 pounds. It's powered by a 686cc engine, has front and rear locking differentials, an automatic CVT transmission, and can actually tow more than 1,300 pounds. It's basically a UTV that you sit on top of. The XTR model brings a factory installed worn VRX 25 winch 
special edition paint, color matched 14 inch aluminium wheels, and 27 inch Maxxis Zillamure 1 tires. Jumping on the back of the Grizzly, we were immediately greeted with a seat as comfortable and plush as an old worn in recliner. With so much heft underneath, the Grizzly had an impressively balanced feeling, with almost perfect weight distribution to each corner. With 7.6 inches of front wheel travel and 9.1 inches in the rear, we weren't going to be winning any GNCC races, but we did find a comfortable ride over varied terrain. The engine provided plenty of power while the Maxxis Zilla tires clawed hard for grip. We're admittedly pretty green when it comes to the world of ATVs, and especially utility ATVs such as the Grizzly, but we were darn impressed.